Hello guys, I'm here with a January or February update. I don't really know what to call it, but we're about halfway through February and I have quite a few changes. Um, I've also got a big stack of new curriculum to show you guys. Um, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I did get some new preschool curriculum as well, but that's in another video. Um, I'm not sure which I'm posting first. Check out my channel and you can check out all the preschool stuff today. I'm mostly talking about my older boys. Okay, so I'll show you the new curriculum in just a moment, but let me talk about everything else. So we, at the end of the month, are getting our goats that we've been talking about. So I am scheduled to pick them up the last weekend of February. And I think I'll try and do a vlog that day. I'm also getting chicks. Um, I can't decide if I'm getting two or four. I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, um, so that is kind of what I'm doing right now in my mind is working through how our new schedule is going to work because I'm gonna have to go out with the goats each morning. Um, they're not, I'm not gonna be milking them for, till closer to summer um, because the due date is like May. Um, but also with some of the new curriculum, I was trying to work out how to fit that in as well. So it's worked out, I think, on paper. <laughs> the one thing that I was trying like hard to squeeze in was, um, if you've seen my other stuff, but there's like a set time where my boys go upstairs and clean a room because upstairs is like kind of kid zone. Um, so I wanted to make sure to still have that, but let them be able to come out and like play with the goats still. So I'm, I guess I didn't think about it. I guess I'm thankful that it's not until summer when we start milking. So then I, I can just take a break from school, even though I love summer schooling. So we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, let me show you guys some of the new stuff. And I'll talk about like my schedule and everything as I'm showing you guys. Um, so I'll show you some readers first that we got from Good and the Beautiful. My um, five, almost six year old, really likes these silver tails. He has like the gold go and the is that one about a goat actually but anyway you already started reading this one like immediately it's really sweet um it's about a boy that never finishes anything and he needs to like finish this quest to become a knight i think um and my son also has red hair and i swear that's why he picked that one up first which is really sweet um because you don't get a lot of characters with red hair um this one's about a little boy that wants to like make maps and go on adventures which is really cool and then this one is about a little girl that gets lost in the forest with her sisters and the little animals like help her. Um, this one, so not for my seven year old, seven and a half. Um, this is a series, it's like a mystery. Um, I don't know a ton about it, but he started reading it and he was into it. Um, and then this is the last reader I got. This one was on sale, it's like seven bucks, but I thought it was gonna be more like I could have looked at the sample, but I didn't. I thought it was going to be more like this bird and information about it, but it's like stories about birds. It's kind of interesting, I guess, but not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for very um, nonfiction, because that's what he likes. Just like teach me everything in a book sort of thing. Um, okay, and then the other language arts thing that I got is I got another Brave Writer um, dart. So this is Poo, uh, the second Poo, I think. I don't know actually how Spook when Gwen or Ticker comes in. And my son has been asking to read Poo as his like, cause we do a morning read aloud time where I read and they each read. And I was like, okay, just wait because I know that there's like a dart for Poo. So finally I got it. We were, we finished up our last thing. Um, and so he's been reading that and he's been really into it. Um, I will say so far I'm not as in love with this one as I was the um Barclay Wilder Lore one that we did that one was like really good um so I'm hoping this one gets more interactive more things for him to do because so far it's kind of more like me just like talking at him which isn't my favorite okay and now into our like kind of new subjecty things I don't know um so I got a bunch a big order from a big order to me from Generations, which I've seen um, Megan at Pennies and Salt and over at Juice Box Homeschool. Um, so these are what I got. Oh, that's like heavy. Okay, so the thing that I have to kind of add in is this like history book. So this one is um, just like goes through history with it. 
um, doesn't focus on a specific location. Their following years each have like basically a continent um, that they are focusing on. So I think I, I'm not sure if I'll do those ones, but I really liked this one because it just like focuses on like stories. And then I got the PDF of the activity books that just looks really fun. I think it's aimed towards first grade. So it's just kind of like fun little things for them to do either while I'm reading or um, right after, maybe while I'm doing um, like preschool stuff with my two year old, something like that. Okay, and then the other thing, so currently for reading comprehension, um, my five year old is just, as we read, I talk to him about re or what we read or what he just read, some stuff in his Good and the Beautiful language arts, but not a lot. Um, and then my seven year old, we're, I would say Memoria Press, their lit guides, are like reading comprehension. I'm just not really in love with them. I don't know if I'm going to continue those. I am going to take a break from them now because this is what we're going to do for reading comprehension. So for my six-year-old, basically, um, his birthday's on, on Valentine's Day in a couple days, um, and we're going on a trip and to a water park and we're all very excited. <laughs> Should be fun. Um, I'll talk more about it in a sec. Um, so this is what I got for him. So um, it's like a kid's Bible and um it's something that he can it's very accessible for him it's like four pages for each chapter so he'll read a chapter and then has his is more activities uh, there we go um word search things like that um so it looks fun so then he has a couple pages in here to do and then and i want it to be fun so i'm not gonna if, have them do any of the stuff that isn't something that they enjoy um, and then this is mine for my seven year old. I got the level one for my six year old and my, the level four for my next child. I just looked at like the reading level, like this part more, but I kind of wish I would have looked at the activity book more because this one is just questions, but like the level two has more like word searches and stuff like that in it, like the other one, but the actual, like this part the like Bible reading part is um, like way too like easy for him. Um, so I don't know, I think he'll still have some fun with it. So, but he's like very, they're both very excited to start reading it. Um, I might not do the activity pages, the reading comprehension part every day. We might just have a conversation about it. Um, I might read ahead or like read the activity pages, see what I wanna ask them sort of thing. Um, but anyway, we're gonna work that into like our language arts time and then we're going to work in the history. I'm going to do it on our beautiful feet days. And we're just going to read that before our beautiful feet study, which I think time-wise will work out really well. Um, anyway, yes, we are going to um, Great Wolf Lodge. I think that those are across the country. Um, so we're just going up there for like a night and we're going to get there early. So we have like the whole day and then back. And then we're only going for one night because we, are st we still have fencing to do for the goats. So we have half of our fence done because there was like an ice storm and thankfully we didn't do it because a tree fell exactly where we would have had the fence if we had finished it we would have had to buy all new fencing mail truck oh, just got a package it's probably the singapore map that i haven't mentioned about yet um the <laughs> i'm trying not ping pong but i usually do that in these kind of videos um my both boys are finishing their current Singapore dimensions and they're just gonna move on to the next so my kindergartner is going into 1a and my second grader is going into 2b because I mostly school them based on their age not on September September to June sort of thing if that makes sense um yeah because my son is turning six and then he'll be moving right into like first grade work even though he's already in language arts okay anyway we're excited for that. It'll be like our last vacation before having to figure out what to do with the goats, which I still don't know. I'm hoping that my nephew will be able to help, but we will see. We're just setting this up. Uh, speaking of vacations, what I've been currently been planning, if you're still watching right now, because now I'm just kind of rambling, but it's fun. Um, in June is my husband and I's 10 year wedding anniversary. And I've been trying to plan like a trip and I'm like, what do we do? Cause we didn't really go on a big honeymoon. So I'm like, should we go to Hawaii? Should we go on a cruise? And then I just don't think I can like one, do a big trip without my kids. I would just feel so bad. And two, I would miss them. So I don't want to go without them. So I think we're gonna go maybe a few hours away 
and then for a few nights and then um, my husband's gonna meet my mom halfway pick up the kids and then they'll join us for the rest of the vacation and then that just like oh, frees all of my like mom guilt that I would have for like not having them go with us um, so that is what is currently on my mind um, definitely check out the preschool video I don't know if that's up yet or if it's coming up next but definitely check that out because I talk a lot about um, Rowan my two and a half year old um essentially she's just going to be doing the same subject with us but on her level and it's a lot more interactive so it's gonna be a lot more work for me but um next week we'll have a little break since we're going in the middle of the week to great wolf because that's when his birthday is and then when we come back um is when right before we get goats is when i'm gonna like implement all of this new stuff um follow me on instagram and i will probably do some updates but I'm, I might be a bit quiet for that week or two while I'm adjusting to our new subjects and new animals. But I am going to try and vlog it so that you guys can see us get the goats and um, get the chicks. And you could probably watch me fail a bunch because I've never done any sort of farming thing except our current chickens. Um, and I, last thing, I do want to try and like, if I can, vlog the goat births because I'm like so into watching those and baby goats and stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna go full on homestead channel, but definitely gonna incorporate that more. So I think that is everything. Um, I tried, I filmed a video of a bunch of fun homeschool stuff that I got that wasn't curriculum, but then I accident, accidentally deleted a clip of it. So it's like having, struggling to upload. So I don't know if that one's going up or not. If it doesn't, then I'll probably like post a reel on my Instagram or something, which is, not fun to me, but <laughs> thanks for hanging in there, guys, and watching with me. And make sure to subscribe because I really appreciate it. Thank you.